More problems tonight for Southwest. A slight scare for some passengers traveling here from Houston. They had to divert to El Paso and board a new plane after an onboard emergency. ABC 15's Christina Boomer is live at Sky Harbor Airport where they just landed, Christina, I guess about two hours ago. What happened? Well, let's go ahead and show you. The pictures you're about to see were actually taken from the people on board and sent our way so we can really get an inside look at what it was like to be in that cabin. You can see that they are wearing oxygen masks, and this is after they reported what they described as an electronic smell. Well, of course, the best people to explain what happened were the people on board, and I just interviewed them a short time ago. So let's go ahead and listen to what they had to say together. I fly for a living. And so not much scares me, but um, the minute they said that the oxygen masks were going to drop down, yeah, I think that's when I kind of panicked. The smell was pretty intense. No smoke, no fire. Um, but, yeah, those things go to the back of your mind. You're like, you know, where are you going to go at 33,000 feet? So? I was sound asleep, and all of a sudden I heard someone talking, and my eyes started burning, and I said, uh-oh, Ben Laden. <laughs> <laughs> so all I could think of was the terrorists that did something to the plane. Oh, it was an overwhelming experience. Well, just last month, Southwest, that hole opening up on the plane, did that go through your mind? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And, and I, I love Southwest Airlines, I'm not going to lie, but, you know, it, you can't help but think, okay, holes in the roof, oxygen masks now, you know, I'm like, I don't know, what, you know. It's, yeah, it's definitely really troubling. We made it just fine, but I'm not going to lie. It was, it was pretty scary. Scaring. You could tell that they're a little shaken up, but everyone doing just fine. Everyone arriving here safely. Now, just a short time ago, I did speak to someone from Southwest Airlines, and they're telling me the plane that they were on, the one that's now in El Paso, is going to be ferried over to Dallas. And at that point, they're going to try to investigate what caused that electronic smell, as the people on board described it. Reporting live at Sky Harbor Airport, Christina Boomer, ABC 15.